Okay, so we have some pictures here. This is some photos I'm giving you of stage 18, the Giro. Look how big, big T is, Tom de Moulin. Big T, we'll call him Big T. This is on the attack. He's getting that saddle wag going. He's launching up the front of the Giro. Look at this. Look how big he is, man. He's a big lad. That's why we call him the Big T. We've got Zaku and nabali has got his head down. Pino, um, Posavivo. Uh, who else have we got in there? Throughout the rise, I don't know. Look at that attack, launching man. And Quintana couldn't follow straight away. Big T on the launch. He hit those motherfucking rockets off, man. He launched off the front. And meanwhile, there's like 180 riders plus or whatever behind. So Big T, dominant rider. And look at that, he dragged Nibali and Quintana back to the line. Big T put it in TT mode and dragged them back. Now, coming up is a following, quite an interesting little picture here. And here we go. This is the end. This is the warm down. Look at Quinta uh, Let's look at Big T first. He's still got his sponsorship done. He's got his, still got his giant helmet on. He's on the trainer. Got his helmet on. Got his son. He's on. He's doing the sponsorship thing right. And he looks pretty poised. Mouth closed. Just done a big, big ride in the GC in the, in the Giro. Quintana here, close to the camera, looks composed as well. But it looks like the mixture he, he's drinking. It doesn't look like a sports drink. It looks like it's straight water. Straight water, could it be sugar water? Either way, he's puffing his cheeks, which is a clear sign you've been dehydrated in the stage. Try it yourself. Drink some water and your cheeks won't puff if you're hydrated. If you're dehydrated, your cheeks puff like a little seagull having a drink at the beach after some hot chips. Give water to kids and if they're dehydrated, they puff it out. Give water to a handbag basic and their cheeks will puff out when they drink them. They hold in their mouth because their esophagus is so dry. So I would say Quintana is dehydrated based on this photo and based on how he couldn't follow the wheel of a rider who's 15 kilos heavier than him and also has the responsibility, daily stress and pressure of holding the pink jersey for the media, the dope control, everything. When you got the jersey, a lot more pressure, a lot more energy. You've got to do interviews and interviews and autographs and handshakes and wank wank. So Quintana, recovery not so good. The hydration is not there. So I would, I would say Quintana, if you had a proper nutritionist, a proper coach, uh, with the better hydration strategies, measuring his uh, specific gravity in his urine or something like that. He, he, you know, he's too old school, too many old school people around him, so he's missing out there. So uh, a 50 kilo uh, Colombian climber shouldn't be getting dropped by the big T. But the big T's got some incredible form. He's dominating. He's pretty humble, it seems. And I've ridden with big T before in Adelaide, two down under. He was quite approachable. Let's hope he keeps that humility. Let's hope, he, hope he's dominating in the Giro. He did the good thing. He showed the most sportsmanship from what we saw in the Giro up the front. Uh, Nabali and Quintana seem to take advantage of that. Did they? I think they did. Let us know down below what your thoughts. Big T is my pick for the Giro.